What's up guys, Spider-Man here. We got Clash of Clans, single player number 34. This is Chimp in Armor, and uh, we have the uh, these two air defenses that we really have to worry about. So we're going to send in two wall breakers, one on either side, and you need to send it in. Uh, those uh, Obviously those mortars aren't quick enough to fire on the wall breaker before he explodes and destroys the walls. And then we're going to spam some barbarians in here to take out those air defenses. Now you have to... You have to spam a fair bit because you have the two wizard towers and uh, you might get hit by the mortars. Now, if uh, you really want to sort of uh, do this a little bit better, bring in a couple of barbarians like further out, just one on each side, have the mortar fire before you bring in your other group of barbarians. So then we bring in a balloon on either side. Unfortunately, the balloon on the right-hand side didn't go directly to the wizard tower, but uh, he's still... You know, the wizard tower isn't uh, really upgraded. I don't know what level it is. It's a lower level wizard tower, so it really wasn't an issue. It didn't take the balloon down before it was able to go in and uh, take down the wizard tower. All right, so two balloons, two wall breakers, and uh, two groups of barbarians. And we're still at 30,000 gold and 30,000 elixir for chimp and armor here. So I think we ended up spending, we probably spent close to 20,000 elixir. So, you know, it, it, it all depends. As we go further in the um, the return scales, right? So we have a bunch of maps that are 30,000, 30,000 uh, before we had 20,000. And it's going to jump up, I think, in a couple of maps to 50,000. Um, so I, I think as you progress further within that grouping of whatever it is, three or four maps or single player missions that are 30,000 gold and 30,000 elixir, they obviously get start getting a little bit more difficult. And um, we're starting to get a little bit more strategic here in some of the, at least in the next map, about uh, what we're doing and timing, etc. And, you know, like I, like I mentioned, when we broke the walls before sending in that group of barbarians, it might have been a good idea just to send in like one barbarian sort of further towards the right-hand side on either side take the the um the brunt of the at least the first mortar shell um and then send in the group like basically almost immediately you bring in the two barbarians and then almost immediately because the mortars will fire on them immediately bring in the groups of barbarians and at least they won't take the mortar fire you only have to worry about the wizard tower at least at first all right so that's it guys we'll catch you tomorrow it's better out